Welcome back everybody. It's 623 on Daybreak and we are getting ready to celebrate Independence Day here in Western New York and our neighbors to the north though, they're celebrating their Independence Day today. Yeah, and in honor of Canada Day, Daybreak's Kevin O'Neill took a little trip across the border to visit the newest attraction in Niagara Falls, Ontario. New attraction on the Canadian side of Niagara Falls. I'll start with the ending because this is where you end up. And the journey to the viewing platform is just as breathtaking. Last year was phase one. Niagara Parks opened up this power station, this huge structure built over a century ago, now converted to a tourist attraction. For CEO David Adames, today is not just Canada Day. It's a very proud moment. Uh, we're opening phase two of the Niagara Parks power station. Uh, we have the generator hall floor behind us right now, but uh, starting July 1st today, uh, we're opening the tunnel, which is the last piece of the puzzle to show how the whole power station worked. Now, I do not have the time or, frankly, the intelligence to explain how this enormous facility generated hydroelectric power over a century ago. What I can tell you is that this feat of engineering has been perfectly repurposed into a new way to enjoy the wonder of the world so close to our house. Your visit starts above the falls at the 65,000 square foot power station. This cathedral of power, as we like to call it. Uh -huh. They can explore the generator hall floor. We have lots of uh, interactive exhibits uh, to, uh, to uh, enjoy. And then to, they'll descend a glass enclosed elevator, go down 180 feet seeing the different floors of the power station. So much underground infrastructure. Yeah, look to the back of the glass elevator on the way down just to see the inner workings of the structure as you descend into the tunnel. It's a 2200 foot walk from the elevator to the viewing platform, about four tenths of a mile. So comfy walking shoes are a good idea. Maybe a light jacket because it's a little cooler in the tunnel and because you might get a little wet at the end. This view has never before been open to the public. Spend as long as you want taking it all in. Oh, and if you come in the evening, the power station has a spectacular indoor light show called Currents. All the information at NiagaraParks.com. Celebrating Canada Day, I'm Kevin O'Neill, Channel 2 News.